Hello! Welcome back to another weekend vlog with Steve and I. It is Saturday morning, so we're all ready to go out and run our morning errands and get all of our groceries for the week. And then we have some other things planned for today as well. Yep. And we're going to bring you along with us. And what else? Let's see, we did not have any power outages nope. since last weekend. That's good. That's good. Hopefully none this weekend. Yep. Fingers but. crossed. <laughs> yeah. Because it's hot. Uh, yeah. 110 officially yesterday. You had 111 in your 111 car. 111 on my car. Yeah. So it was brutal hot. Yeah. And we've got more heat this weekend. It starts to cool down into the 90s and then back up to 100 uh, at the end of the week. So we're not done. We're not done. But uh, yeah. Just a two day weekend. A regular weekend this yeah. weekend so uh, we'll make the best of it even though it's shorter than last week um, or or next week actually it's gonna be a longer weekend too Labor Day weekend coming up so um, we're glad that you're gonna be tagging along with us yep all right back by popular demand the grocery haul all laid out. So the first place that we went was Winco. And at Winco, we got the Jack Daniels Down Home Punch. That's kind of a treat after work during the week. So we enjoy that. We got a pork tenderloin. Cheryl's gonna use this to make pork fried rice and barbecue pork. She did it once before. It was so good and um, definitely looking forward to this. It's going to be dinner hopefully tomorrow night. We've got white potatoes. That's going to be for breakfast tomorrow. We'll chop those up and fry those up and they'll be really, really good. Got a jalapeno and aroma tomato. That's going to be for my lunch. I'll use that on my sandwiches, which you'll see a little bit more about that in a second. We've got the coffee made. This is vanilla caramel. You can hardly find it anywhere and uh, Cheryl really wanted to, to have it so we did find that at Winco so we got that. The Simply Lemonade with Raspberry. Cheryl definitely loves this kind of a little treat to drink. We got actually two bottles of purified water that's for coffee and then we got Mission Tortilla Strips and Mission Tortilla Rounds. We're gonna do something with the rounds tomorrow for lunch. Oh, and almost missed the refried beans, which also is gonna be with the rounds for lunch tomorrow or a snack. Then we went to Walmart and got our pickup order. So what we've got here, we've got some mac and cheese. One meal this week is gonna be mac and cheese and meatballs. And so uh, Cheryl cooks, cooks the mac and cheese cooks up uh, some meatballs in brown gravy and it's a really good combination. It kind of sounds a little different if you've never had it before, but oh my, it's really good. Got some Old Spice deodorant, that's me, and Centrum Vitamins Men 50 Plus. Yeah, sometimes you get to that age, that's me. So, got some vitamins, I'm almost out. We got oak leaf Moscato, that'll be for a treat um, one night this week, which also means, which reminds me, I need to plug in the wine opener so that it is nice and charged so we can open the wine. And we got green beans, this is for Bella with her uh, breakfast and dinner. I got some white lithium grease WD-40, and what I'm gonna use this for is the garage. Um, just to lubricate the uh, hinges and the rollers. And when we got our spring fixed like a year or so ago, the guy said the best thing you can do is just make sure you lubricate everything like once every six months. So I'm gonna do that this weekend. We've got crescent rolls and these hot dogs. We're gonna make pigs in a blanket. That's gonna be another dinner for us this week. Um, some Cheetos Puffs, that's a snack for Cheryl. I, I Personally, I am not a fan of Cheetos. Don't like them, I don't know why. Maybe it's because the 
stuff gets all over your fingers. It's just, I never have been interested in Cheetos, but Cheryl loves them. She got also some peanuts for a snack, some Tillamook cheese, which we'll probably also use in our lunch with the tortilla rounds and the refried beans tomorrow. And then some sliced Swiss cheese. That's gonna be for my sandwiches that I'm making for lunches this week. The last couple of places, we did have to go to Total One. We thought we weren't gonna to need to, but we did. Uh, need a little bit more tequila. Everything else though was good, so that was awesome. Then we went to Kroger, and uh, Cheryl got some ramen. That's gonna be an uh, option for lunch for her. Here are some of the rolls that I'll use for my sandwiches, um, along with roast beef. Got Gotta have roast beef, so warm up the sandwich bun with the roast beef and the Swiss cheese, let it melt, then slice tomato, tomato and jalapeno. Oh, it's so good. We got some scallions, green onions for the uh, pork fried rice that Cheryl's making tomorrow. 2% milk. Um, we got some, a can of corn, which is gonna probably be for a meal this week. Um, Zyrtec, and this is pretty cool. So like we were looking for the 30 count we also had a coupon at Kroger for the 30 count, $4 off. And I, I, I looked and there were some of these in the back, which actually had a bonus, 33% more. So you're paying for 30, but you get 40 and we got $4 off. So score for us. Um, Gouda cheese, that's gonna be for Cheryl's snack. And then some chicken. So we're gonna do chicken tacos, one meal. That'll be half of the chicken. The other half will be like a, um, uh, baked chicken with the crispy crust on it that we like so um, two meals out of the chicken and that is everything that we got in our grocery haul so actually wasn't that much um, this week which is great so trying to just get what we need and uh, make everything last until we go out next week she's not happy we're gonna be leaving again are you yeah you like mom and daddy to stay home we got a few more places to go, boo-boos. All right, grocery shopping is complete. Check that off for the week. Check. Yay! Now, we're going to go to a store and pick out a new umbrella for the back patio. We had two, one broke, we gotta get another one. So we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna grab some lunch. You look so enthused, you're like, <laughs> taking a yeah, rest there? I'm taking a little break. <laughs> you asked me a question about how much we spent, so I had to sit down and think about it. But um, yeah, that's our plan. We've got a trek um, to go get an umbrella. It's really hard to find a patio umbrella right now. It's the end of the summer. They're pretty much all gone. I mean, we're at Kroger. They, they have some usually outside. They were totally wiped out. And the at-home store, we got an umbrella a couple weeks ago, because one broke. And, but they don't have any of the larger umbrellas. The one we got was smaller, which is okay, but we still need a larger one. Um, so we're gonna have to go to another at-home store, which is like 40 minutes away. And since we're over there, it's close to Round Table Pizza, which Cheryl loves, uh, so extra 20 minutes or so to get there and have that for lunch. And that'll also be dinner tonight. So I'm uh, just getting mentally prepared for the <laughs> trek. But it's Yeah, all, it's I mean, it's what we gotta do to get an umbrella because man, we've looked on Amazon, Wayfair, lots of different other sites to get umbrellas. We actually, they have the smaller yeah, ones, but we yeah. want a large one. Well, they have large for ones more coverage. too. Um, I actually ordered one from Walmart and it got delivered yesterday, but it was, broken and so I just returned it to Walmart I'm not gonna go that route anymore so that's why we're gonna drive to at home so we can take a look at them make sure it's in good shape make sure it's the color that we want and go from there
Our new umbrella, navy blue, good choice. Yeah. We're gonna go out and set it up and see how it looks. I've already set it up once, <laughs> in the parking lot of at home. I know, you wanted to make sure it worked well. Yeah, I wanted to make sure it wasn't busted up. If so, it didn't work, you were gonna take it back in and get another one. Exactly, since we were there. Good morning. I am on my second cup of coffee. We are still waking up. We got to sleep in, but with the eggs here, there's some cilantro mixed in. I'm going to scramble up some eggs. I made my famous crispy potatoes and then Bella's always in the kitchen with me waiting for me to drop something or give her a bite. So we're just getting our morning started very slowly. Alright, so it's Sunday morning and we are going to see a movie. It's uh, National Cinema Day, so a lot of theaters have $4 movie tickets today, Sunday. So we've got tickets to see Oppenheimer and we're looking forward to seeing the movie. Yeah, it's going to be three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so this is okay. the longest movie we've ever sat in. So. It's going to be long. We'll see how it goes, but anyways, I'm sure we're gonna like it. Yeah. So we're gonna get in and watch this long movie. There's a guy riding a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna be in our vlog? He's riding around the parking lot having a great ride. <laughs> Laundry time. Yeah, we're back and it, it is into the weekend, so got to do laundry. But uh, we saw the movie Oppenheimer. It was really good, um, very long, but uh, probably a movie that you, you're going to see once, and that's pretty much it. But a lot of good information. I I like history, so talking about you know the uh, development of of the bomb that stopped World War II was really interesting, and kind of the personas behind everything so it was a good movie enjoyed it so we don't go to movies a lot it was a good uh, thing to do plus it was only four dollars a ticket so that was awesome so definitely enjoyed it it was a great great day um, with Sharon my beautiful wife <laughs> I love you yeah it's been a good day so far Steve just made us some margaritas Finishing the laundry here. We've got a couple more loads of different things to wash up and get put away for the week. Just gonna relax and watch some TV. Yep. And that's what we're doing right now. That's the plan. Cheers. Cheers. The weather changed very quickly. <laughs> yeah, from hot and sunny to a rainstorm. I know. We haven't seen rain in like, oh, and that was thunder. We haven't seen rain in like over a month. It hasn't rained. I it think it's been over a month, like a month and a half. Yeah, it's been a long time. Most of that, yeah. I mean, everything is just soaked. We were watching TV and I'm like, um, we knew it was getting cloudy and overcast, but yeah, we finally got rain, you all. So excited. Allergies have been so bad. It's been so dry. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Oh, loving it. Rain. Yay! Yeah, so it started to get windy like uh, 20, 30 minutes ago. So we brought the umbrellas in. Bella went out, went potty out here. And we put the floaties back here because it was getting really windy. We knew something was coming, but we didn't actually really know we were going to get rain. So, this is great. Oh man, I love the smell. 30 minutes later, the rain has passed on. The sun is coming back out. The clouds are starting to thin out. 
as you can see up on the left you can see the darker clouds still passing by and then to the right we have some clearing coming and no more rain in the forecast for the next weeks dinner is ready so i cooked this pork tenderloin in the oven at 425 degrees for one hour and then i broiled it a little bit on each side but the barbecued pork fried rice churned out yummo and then we have some strips of pork here to dip into some ketchup and sesame seeds this is the second time I've made this meal, and this time it turned out better than the first time. Thumbs up, delicious. All right, so we've been charging this for a day and a half, so I'm crossing my fingers, it's gonna work. Sounds good. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Automatic cork remover. We love you. Yay! <laughs> well, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. Yeah. It's over. Yep. Back to work tomorrow. I know. Well, another That's week of is. work. Yeah. But. We're looking forward to next weekend. Yep. We got some different stuff planned, so stay tuned for the yep. next video. And we always try to do something different each weekend, kind of mix it up. Yeah. You know, we would love to get in the pool every single weekend, but you know, gotta do other stuff as well, not just right. the pool. But yeah. probably have another month left in the pool before it starts to cool down and won't be getting in as much so we really do need to try to get in as much as we can because the weather will start changing very slowly and it'll cool down and as it cools down the pool water cools down yeah, so we won't be able to get in yeah but good weekend honey we had a lot of fun we did cheers, cheers. Mm, a great weekend Moscato wine mm -hmm. mm. yummy I guess I should get in here too. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and say I mean, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you watching and we hope that you had a great weekend as well. Yeah, let us know what you guys ended up doing for your weekend or yeah. what your weekends are typically like. Yeah. Sad to say goodbye because we only get to put out a video once a week, but yeah. we do it because we like doing it and it's fun. Just during the week, it's just uh, too busy with work and whatnot. Yeah. But um, I think we got a good rhythm here. And we just hope that you all are enjoying them as well. So we are. leave us comments down below. We like to read them and respond to them and interact with you all, so. All right, well, you all have a great week and we'll see you in a week. That's right. <laughs> Bye, y'all.